Apple's new iPhone 14 lineup made its debut recently. Today let's disassemble the iPhone 14 to view the interior structural changes and how those changes will affect repair. In the first place, remove the card tray. Besides the adhesive, iPhone also utilizes the bottom screws to strengthen the fastening. Remove the two screws from the bottom. Place the phone back down on the heating pad to heat for about 2 minutes. Then place the phone on the opener and lift the back cover. Insert a plastic card and slide along the gap. The iPhone 14 reverts to the same design as the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S, with access through the back cover. Please lift the back cover from the side of the camera to avoid damaging the wireless charging cable. The back cover incorporates a wireless charging coil, a microphone transmitter, and a flashlight. The separate back cover design makes back glass repair easier. Remove the two screws that secure the battery shielding cover. Disconnect the battery. Remove the shielding cover on the motherboard. Disconnect the flex cables on the motherboard. Then yank the camera out. The iPhone 14 has a bigger camera lens than iPhone 13. Detach the front camera assembly. The front camera assembly remains the same on iPhone 13 in terms of structure. The front facing camera has been upgraded to autofocus with stabilization. Which should result in significantly better quality for capturing photos and videos. Continue to remove the upper antenna and earpiece speaker. Cables are connected to the middle frame at the bottom of the motherboard. Please disconnect the cables before taking the motherboard out. In contrast to the iPhone 13, the iPhone 14 still features an L-shaped motherboard. The A15 chip is still used. But the iPhone 14 has components on four sides of the motherboard. Remove the Taptic engine and the card holder. Next, remove the loudspeaker and charging port flex cable. There are 17 screws in this area. Add some alcohol to remove the battery. Compared with iPhone 13, the battery capacity of iPhone 14 is larger with different connector. The last part we remove is the screen assembly. The iPhone 14 screen looks the same as the iPhone 13 screen with different flex cables. To sum up, the teardown way of the iPhone 14 is quite different from its predecessor. The back cover can be removed separately, which greatly reduce the difficulty of back glass repair. We'll follow up with videos on motherboard separation, screen refurbishment, etc. to further discuss the repairs of iPhone 14.
please stay tuned and thank you for watching.